Pickle Chew here back with uh, another video on Walking Dead episode one. This is now part three. Now let's go head over and talk to Herschel. Last episode we helped build this fence and talk with people around here and then actually got to this farm, got his leg all fixed up and slept in a barn. All right, so let's go talk to Herschel. I think I went the wrong way. Oh, yep, there we go. We're right by now. All right, let's talk to Herschel. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh, if there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh, had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Ooh, I'm, I want to connect the story. With my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. It's not lying. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! Oh, shit. I guess I gotta help him. I got you. We're almost through. Now show. Get this tractor off of me. Please help me, please. Oh no, he's dead. Oh no, I'm in a world of shit now. Herschel's gonna be mad. Get out. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. I panicked. Look at him. Remember that next time you panic. Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. That, that was kind of hard. Got that ride to make it if you want it.
Wow. I didn't realize they were going to make you make that hard of a choice. That fast. Usually in Telltale games you make simple choices at the beginning. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Macon looks like it's deserted. Look! Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. No. Oh. Fuck! Looks like seven days when you enter a new. The zero zero town on random day. Kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's the leader here, but it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bit. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm. Oh down. wow, this we this really got heavy. The end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out. Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Sit down. That's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? This one. <laughs> That's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then... Once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No! You don't touch that boy! 
You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! Oh you my God! Have a plan to kill me wow! Though, because it's me before anyone else in here. <laughs> 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 What happened? I don't even know what he hit. You okay? Just great, thanks. Oh, they're getting in. They're gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Uh, uh. Oh, I really don't like this guy. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? <laughs> we need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. This guy looks like Glenn. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. I want to see if that guy's... I think that guy's name's... Gl that guy looks so much like Glenn. That, that could really be Glenn. I don't know. I want to find him. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway. Yeah, that guy was Lee, an asshole. Cat and I appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kid. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. Sorry about that, my video ended. days surviving oh. on her own? 
So there's a little Not bit of a gap, but nothing happened. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice to kill John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. Okay. Yes. Try to let it go. I guess they could have saved that boy together. I don't remember what his name was. Stuff like that. Just just like what I just found on the shelf. This energy bar could help out one day and help him do something. Um I'm gonna talk to Clementine. It's not much, but here you go. Oh, Thank he you. Of course. Oh, that's good. Hey there. Hi. Oh, it is Glenn. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Glenn. I'll see if I can find something else for you. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, being good is good. Despite the circumstances. Yep. Well, sit tight. Okay. All right, um, I guess I do need to talk to these people just so I can learn some information about them. Shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially <laughs> one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me. And I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. I better get back to it. Yep. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Ah, huh. uh, yeah, so, let's have a look around. Let's go have a look around. Cool, and we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. And that guy apart. <laughs> he just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down. I 
Let's head back inside. Okay. Yeah, that seemed like the best option. Shouldn't have gone out there. Alright, we've talked to everybody now. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. I guess uh, I really don't want to talk to him because I'm not. I'll go give this to. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah, you're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's uh really sweet. Don't mention it. How's he doing? I'm not sure. I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Oh, that's why she's Sometimes so headstrong. I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Oh. I'm gonna I'm, get back. I'm just gonna there. exit. Sounds good. Oh, wow. I can't. I can't think about them in here. This door leads to the back alley. Oh, taking this could be helpful. Nothing I need in here. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. A protector, at least. Wow. This would be really hard. Find anything? Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. Oh, I can't believe he killed a state Good. senator. Because if wow. this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it.
Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Oh, we? I did. Yeah. You're not bad, right? I... Why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Yeah. He oh. And That's kind you of hard choice. You have to protect yourself. That's right. Oh, okay. I didn't want to leave yet. I thought that was a different door. Let's continue on our venture. Dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you and your hat. <laughs> My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Alright, hopefully the medication's in here. Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Put your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. <laughs> Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. She's in kid selective memory. What's your job? <laughs> I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. <laughs> you didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Oh, that's kind of hard. I'm I'm just going to come out and say it. I think it'll probably be easier situation now than later. Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish they Oh, that's kind of sad. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. I'd be. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Oh, this first aid kit. I guess I can get that. I'll find you a bandage. All right, thank you. I had to start recording again. I'm gonna give her the bandage. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please.
All right, let's try to get in this office and get this painkiller. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Lee? Oh, uh... They'll find us? Never track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Alright, let's find these keys. Get the remote for that thing in here someplace. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Well, let's try to turn it on. That's what I figured. I guess... Well, the power can't be out because there's... There's some power, I guess. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Kind of hoping the keys were right there. are out there all right I'm gonna cut this and I'll be right back once I find the keys thanks and, uh, all right we're back so I exited the uh, little girl, if you're I exited here, the room to find the keys the and the sounds like whatever. Glenn's in trouble this is Lee what's up so I'm down at that motor in and well uh, I'm stuck stuck yeah I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group and a bunch of the Roman ones got to jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor end. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Alright, so I think I'm going to end the episode right here. Um, before we go save Glenn. Uh, thanks for watching. I know this was a long one. Alright, enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks.